Morning, everyone. Sorry, it took me a couple minutes to get on the live chat here. We are going to be in, well, we as in me, I'm going to be in Colorado Springs on March 30th. And the reason why we're doing the live chat today is uh, to let anybody know who's going to be in the area that you're more than welcome to come down. I'm going to include in the description, and that's what took me a while. I had to get the description in the title there, um, the restaurant that we're going to. So it's going to be Saturday, 3 p.m., Colorado Springs. If anybody happens to be in the area and you guys want to pop by, more than happy to visit. We're going to be, you know, spending maybe an hour, a little over an hour, just chatting about some of the adventures I've been on and what's next for the channel and just getting to know you guys and hear your stories too. So wanted to put that out there that if you happen to be in Colorado Springs at the end of the month, I'd love to meet you guys. So it'd be uh, pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> and I see, I didn't realize that the live chat had it kind of uh, triggered up here before I was ready for you guys. Apologize for that. So I'm going to set the camera down. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention today, actually, maybe I'll carry it with me for a second. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I am getting together, uh, well, I've been funding the, the house and it's been stretching me a little bit thin. So I've decided to select one piece of pottery uh, to put up on eBay. And so if you go on eBay and you type in Mary's name, Mary Borgstrom, or you type in uh, Curiosity Inc on eBay.ca, and I think a lot of you guys can't find me because you're probably looking on the .com website, you're going to see this beautiful vase, which is made by Mary, it's signed on the bottom, as you can see. We are putting this as the only item uh, of pottery that I'm, I'm listing for sale at the moment because uh, the rest I'm trying to do a gallery exhibit with. So it is on eBay Live right now. If anybody out there is uh, wanting to uh, own a piece from this house and a piece of that lovely artwork that is uh, known worldwide, it is going to be available. It is available on eBay for bidding right now. So you can search that on uh, on our channel. And uh, again, just type in Mary's name, Mary Borgstrom, or you can look up Curiosity Inc, all one word together as my uh, eBay username on ebay.ca, and it should pop up. I've never done a meetup before, so I'm not really sure. I see somebody in Colorado Springs is going to be there. That's great that you guys are on. <laughs> I've never done a meetup before, so this will be new for me as we kind of figure out what this is going to be all about. Um, I, I think, you know, it should be fun. It should be interesting. I've been super nervous this whole week. Um, tomorrow, I'm giving a speech at the uh, Royal Alberta Museum, which is kind of like the main museum where I live here in town. And uh, yeah, we're, I'm trying to do it like a, a live episode of our, uh, of our YouTube channel. So I'm, I'm going to try and have music and some video and me talking at people and hopefully try and make it interesting. But that's tomorrow. And I haven't really had any time to prepare for my speech, so <laughs> a little bit nervous about that, but hopefully we'll, we'll make it together. Uh, somebody's asking about the GoFundMe page. Um, there is a GoFundMe that's on GoFundMe about the Potter's House, uh, which you can search it by Potter's House. There was a few of you that wanted, I didn't want to solicit money whatsoever. We're happy trying to do this on our own dime. Um, so Scotty is saying, did you see my attic suggestion? A sitting room would add charm. Yeah, you know, Scotty, uh, I'm, I'll come back to that in a second. Scotty was just asking about the attic. He wanted to see if I could turn it into a Victorian sitting room. Um, that's the one challenge I had with insulating those walls. In a normal attic, you would have um, venting and stuff like that. But the, the ceiling of the attic actually becomes like a wall um, because you have to insulate it and possibly drywall or do something with it. So there's a possibility that could become a little room, like even an extra bedroom or something. It is heated up there, so it's pretty nice. Um, we'll see, Scotty. I don't exactly know right now, but we'll we'll find out. Um, yeah, so going back to the GoFundMe thing, um, we had put a GoFundMe up just because some of you were very much wanting to help out and, and put some money towards the renovation that we're doing on the home. So for that reason and that reason only, there is a GoFundMe up there, only for those of you who really felt you wanted to help. Again, I'm not soliciting money. I'm not asking for help whatsoever. I'm not used to help either. I'm used to doing stuff on my own. So um, but thank you to those who have uh, contributed and helped out. Um, ended up getting us a hot water tank and a floor sander. <laughs> so those are all great things that are helping with the property. Um, the next video for the Potter's House should be coming very soon. Tomorrow morning, I am forcing my entire family to get up at 7 a.m. And they're not going to like me very much for it. Uh, oh, thank you, Susan, very much. Um, I'm going to be getting up tomorrow at 7 a.m., headed to the house. My wife, Melissa, and my three kids have never seen the house before. They've never been in it in person. I've owned it for a couple months now. So we are going to uh, try and get uh, the family out there to see. I've got a whole bunch of stuff I have to take to a, a new charity that I've discovered out in that area. Um, so it should be 
uh, another exciting video, but this time you'll get to see my wife's reaction finally to, to what she thinks of the house and what the kids think of the new house too. Um, and for those of you asking with the property, um, we are not planning on moving out to that house. We are pretty situated in uh, the city of Edmonton where I live with the kids' school and everything. So we are either going to keep it as, you know, maybe a uh, a rental place or we're not sure what we're going to do with that. We have to figure that out. The what, the mission right now really is just try and make it so it's a livable, usable home again. And um, and we'll, we'll see what it looks like once it's all done. And I think Josh is doing a fantastic job too. And I'm not answering the phone because I'm not open quite yet. <laughs> we'll give it a few minutes. Uh, I'll let the machine pick it up and then get over there. Um, on that note, if you do ever want to reach us, I'm at the store today, 11 to 5 uh, Mountain Time. So if you uh, do want to call or have any questions or if there's things you saw or maybe I wasn't getting back to you on a, on a question, you can call. And if I have time, I'll certainly chat if it's not too busy in the store today. Um, I'll try and read some of your questions here and, and get through it too. Um, oh yeah, the canoe behind me. That's my canoe chandelier <laughs> that's uh, behind me. Uh, do you guys want me to do a little uh, a store tour for you too today? Oh, I'm just going to read. Uh, I'm glad to have you sleep. It's nice 4 a.m. in Australia. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice, Jeanette. It's funny. I have, um, uh, let's see, what do I have? Uh, Radio New Zealand is calling me on Monday and I'm doing an interview on Radio New Zealand. So that'll be interesting. Um, so if you guys are okay with it, what I might do is I might um, turn the camera around to give you guys a tour of the store. So I'm going to pick the, the uh, camera up here and I'm going to flip it around. And I guess maybe I'll start today at the back of the shop. So we have stuff literally everywhere. You know, like this is part of that Simpsons collection that I bought on a video. As if you guys remember that when I picked all that stuff up. Sold most of it off. Most of it's gone. Uh, we have everything from little toy cars, oil cans, which you guys always talk about. Well, why do you buy oil cans? Um, somebody's asking me with the checking the building codes. I did actually uh, go through the building codes and I did talk to the town about permits. So we're all good there. Uh, we have, these are 1946 Dale Gun shooting games. And I did a little video on these guys before, but what I need to do is probably show you how it works. They're actually really ingenious. It's all mirrors and mechanisms. One of the first shooting gallery games that was ever made. We do get into old toys. So Corgi and Dinky, um, sometimes Matchbox and Hot Wheels when we can. Wind up robots. Um, these are all, you know, newer and some vintage model kits. And this is all live. So this is all what's on hand as of today. Um, this is a cool piece. This is a salesman sample boat. It's huge. This thing is absolutely massive. Oh, thank you, Denise. Um, this thing is a massive fiberglass boat from a company called Prince Craft. And custom-made trailer uh, would have been in a dealer display back in the 1950s. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, in the case here, I don't know if you guys can see it. People ask about trains every once in a while. That is a um, pre-war standard gauge live steam train. They are more on the expensive side. It's $3,000 Canadian. But the reason is somebody built that scratch out of brass, and it is a working steam engine with a real boiler and the whole works. This is an all-metal Tamiya uh, tank. Remote control still works with metal tracks and the whole deal. That's some of the POW art that I have, the ship in the bottle. Um, that's the Bismarck that was made by a survivor of the Bismarck. That's actually a really cool piece. So lots of little odds and ends. This is a replica tether car. Um, we do get real tether cars in on occasion, so lots of cool stuff. Somebody is persistently phoning the store before hours, but if it's one of you watching, I will get to it at uh, 11 o'clock, so just in a little bit here. Uh, let's see. A while back, I bought a big collection of autographs, and these are all autograph books. And I've had a few of you asking kind of what titles they are, so I'll kind of scan through a little bit. Every single one of these books is signed by the author or by the subject matter, and they are a really cool piece of history. So I, I have a whole bunch of this stuff that's on hand. Little video games, remember these guys? Donkey Kong and Pac-Man, little tabletop arcades. I had a big collection of those come in a while back, but we sold most now. So automotive books, pedal cars, radios. Um, this is where I keep some of the vintage, some of the vintage clothing that's not from the house, like old 1970s motorcycle racing suits and things like that. Um, I'm going to try and spin around and not make everybody nauseous. This is tobacco related cigarette dispensers. There's my little, uh, he's animatronic, this guy. He, he actually moves around. He's pretty cool. And lots of hockey and baseball cards, sports cards in here. So lots going on there. A little coffee mill that I found on an episode not that long ago. So look, it's out, out for sale now. That's a tiny little countertop style. 
Harley Davidson oil can. Um, this is an authentic hundred year old oil can, but it wasn't originally Harley, but I did have a friend who's a sign painter and he painted this all by hand for me. So it looks really cool. But Harley did actually make a can like that. A uh, little miner's lamp, a little brass one. So all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, the store, we try and keep a bit of variety with all the things in the shop here. It's a candlestick phone, kind of a copper colored one, graphics camera. And I'll try and read some comments as I'm walking here too. Sewing machine, someone's asking. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here for a sec. Um, there are a couple box sewing machines right on the bottom there. And I have a featherweight somewhere around the store that just came in yesterday. So we're gonna go over here. Um, this, we get into the military stuff. So there are some antique firearms uh, and I only deal in antiques cause they're not considered firearms anymore. That's why in that one episode I said, Oh, I hope there's no guns in here. That's because they would have been considered modern and I would have been breaking the law by having them. So I carry like pre 1899, usually black powder, uh, or extinct cartridge stuff. So lots of vintage pieces. And you might recall, um, that front one I found when we were in Halifax, that appeared in an episode, and the one up top, my son and I opened the mystery box that I had a customer bring us, and that's where the uh, late 1700s Middle Eastern uh, gun came from, the flintlock with the mother of pearl inlay. Really, really neat pieces. And of course, we've got on the back wall tons and tons of pottery, which we are... Uh, am I bringing... Somebody's asking right now, am I bringing the Ghostbusters car? No, I'm flying into Colorado. I'm not driving. It's just too long of a... Too long of a trip for me to, uh, to go by air, or to go by car this time around. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I finally, I don't know if you guys remember me, I was talking about trying to get a Zoltar. So I'm gonna get Zoltar going here and give you a little taste test of what Zoltar does. My name is Zoltar the Gypsy, and I have some words of wisdom to bring you much happiness. As you travel through this life, remember this. If you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Go ahead and let Zoltar tell you more. And then he gives you a little fortune here. Let's see what my fortune is today. Uh, a new turn of events will soon come about. A happy reunion with a loved one will make life all that you ever wanted or dreamed. But that's funny because I am actually reuniting with my sister. Zoltar works, folks. This is proof right now that Zoltar is 100% working and functioning. Uh, yeah, you have a very trusting nature and easily taken in by so-called friends. Don't be so anxious to do favors for others. Well, I at least believe the part where it says I'm reuniting with, uh, loved ones. Zoltar is real. That just proves it right there. <laughs> okay, I'll continue the store tour up near the front here. So we carry, we do carry some newer toys. We always like to have things in the store that maybe a, a kid or someone walking through could possibly... Um, use. Maybe they don't want to come in and buy like a crazy thousand dollar thing. So we have little toy cars and some newer stuff too. So that there's something for the whole family. We are, as we are on TV, we try and be a, you know, family friendly shop. I'm going to turn you around. We're going to go upstairs and check on things up here. Uh, let's see. My lighting isn't all the way on right now. We're not quite open yet. That's why I have the, a time to do the little walk around this morning. And thanks for sticking with us, by the way. I was thinking I needed, I needed a new tie because we are uh, giving that speech and I wanted to kind of dress up. But I realized that I have all these ties sitting right in my own store that I probably should have just selected one of these guys here. <laughs> these are the ones that came out of the attic of the house. So maybe there's a cool old retro tie that I can use from, uh, from upstairs here. Let's see, lots of old posters. There's the uh, tabletop loom that I found in the house. It's made its way back to the shop. And some little, this is lighting, lighting projects that I put together. That's the headlight off an old Model T mounted on a tripod. And we're going to turn around. And we've got some of the, remember these guys from the attic of the house? All the old Better Homes and Gardens and Chatelaine and things like that, Family Circle. All these old 1950s and 60s magazines. We just do these guys at $5 a piece in store. So they are kind of a fun, cheap way to get something cool. This is uh, one of, actually, you guys were talking about Josh, who's been in the videos. Josh made that little skull there. Um, there's one of his metal hands he's done. I'm going to open up the case here so we can get a little bit better look. Josh is a really fun guy. I've known him ever since I opened the store, basically. Uh, so Josh does these little welded hands. He's put a little grenade in that one. So that's why when he said he was going to take the uh, uh, bottle of laxative and put it in a skeletonized hand, I guess that's what he's got planned for it. He's a funny guy. 
Uh, so let's see. Oh, this is the featherweight sewing machine. Someone was asking if I had sewing machines. There's a little featherweight that just came in yesterday, actually. Hudson's Bay blankets. This is a neat piece, which I don't really show on camera that often. This is a, a one half scale, um, buckboard wagon. It's completely scaled down by half. It's a piece of artwork. I'm just using it to put bay blankets and clothes in right now because this is the situation, folks. I've had to put all the old clothes on sale up here because we have so many vintage dresses and clothing. As you saw, the house had a lot of clothes in it and many of them actually very usable and in good condition. So we brought a lot of them into the shop and we were just uh, kind of going through and blowing stuff out here because, well, I don't need a whole pile of clothes in the store. I don't normally deal in old clothes but we are working our way through. And of course, you know, you can't have a shop without some guitars and records and that kind of stuff. So some of the uh, records that I found recently come through, whether it's, you know, Beatles or what have you, we try and carry mostly like, you know, somewhat more unique albums if I can, or ones that are going to be a little bit more listenable. So lots of fun stuff. And, uh, oh yeah, these are a couple, um, if you guys um, remember Josh from my videos, he's currently helping me out. Josh painted these by hand. So he is uh, Josh's Ermanskin Cree. These are chiefs from uh, the Ermanskin Cree area. So they are ancestors of his or of his, uh, of, of his area. So he does these by hand, finger painting. Very talented guy, obviously. So I'm very happy to have Josh helping me out on the kitchen project. So that kind of gives you a, a little bit of a tour of some of the things that we have in store. The, the store is just generally absolutely packed. I'm upstairs now, but there's all kinds of stuff. So uh, yeah, and somebody was asking you, I can't believe you put the clothes out. Yeah, I did wash them. I wouldn't have put any, anything that was really gross. I just threw out anything that was in plastic bags we washed and then brought to the shop. So they're fine. There's, uh, there's no issue with the clothing. Um, so lots of neat stuff. Thank you for coming along on the adventure today as we just kind of do a little store tour and walk through. And um, if you are in Colorado Springs on Saturday, March 30th at 3 p.m., look in the description. The address is there. Um, let me know if you're coming, though. Maybe, maybe set, send me an email or message if you're going to be there, like RSVP, because we don't know what size of table or you know, how many people are going to show up. So if it's just five or six, we'll just sit around. If it's more than that, we'll figure it out. But we will get together, and I will have a chance to come and visit you guys. Um, and yeah, we'll tell you all kinds of stories. It's going to be an adventure. I mean, I'm going out there to meet, uh, someone for the first time that I'm related to. So it'd be kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, so, uh, tomorrow's going to be a fun day taking the family out to, to not only go to the house for the first time, but also for my family to meet Mary. So this will be a great time. I wish you all well. And thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out eBay too. If you're interested in buying a piece of Mary's pottery, we do have it up on eBay right now. Um, so check eBay, type in Mary Borgstrom. You're going to see her pot. It's the only one that's for sale and one of the only pieces of her artwork that's been offered for sale in years and years and years. Um, and we're using that money to help fund getting some uh, restoration work done on the home because frankly, um, I'm like the guy who's turning his pockets inside out right now. I'm running low on cash. <laughs> uh, so that's how what we're doing to kind of just rustle up some cash. I did have to sell one piece sadly, but we are going to maintain the rest so we can do a display. Thank you so much guys. You have a wonderful day and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.